What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843. Today we've got a bonus video for you and in today's video, we're gonna show you just how easy it is to install a credit card upgrade in a snack machine. So basically, in this case, we've got a USI 3114 snack machine. It is not credit card compatible and we're gonna make it credit card compatible in today's video. So what we did, we actually ordered a new VMC, which is a new controller board from DNS Vending out of Ohio. Um, and all we're going to do in this video, we're going to install it. Well, first we're going to unbox it and show you what, calls, what all comes in the kits. And then we're going to install it in our snack machine at the truck accessory shop. By doing so, again, this machine will be credit card compatible. And in future videos, we are going to add a credit card reader. We're going to get our MDB codes. We're going to do our product map and all that stuff. So if you find any value in, that, in these types of videos, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube and smash that like button to give us a thumbs up on this video. We really appreciate that. All right, with that said, let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and we're going to unbox the the um, the in one controller board. We're going to show you what all comes in the kit. And then we're going to go off to the truck accessory shop location and we're going to install it in this machine. We're going to program it and we're going to make our machine credit card compatible. So again, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's go ahead and get right into it and let's unbox that kit. All right, let's unbox this in one board from DNS Vending. Now you can get these in one boards from multiple locations. And I know there's some other boards out there too, like I think Vendors Exchange also sells a different type of upgrade board. So all we're doing in this in this part of the video is we're just gonna um, open up this, this box, see what comes in the kit, see what kind of work we're gonna you know require to install it in this machine, because I've never done one of these before. So this is the first time you're gonna see me installing one of these kits in a vending machine. Like I said, I've never done one before. So it looks like there's instructions, some hardware, some wiring, harnesses, connections, things like that. And then in here, we've got the actual controller board and um, there's also a display, a new display unit in here as well. So let's, uh, let's cut the tape off. Let's take a look at this new controller board. And again, this is going to make everything MDB compatible, DEX compatible, and of course, credit card reader compatible. So we'll be ready to install one of our NIAX credit card readers on this machine. So there's, there's the, the new VMC or video controller board, I think it's called, or vending controller board. I'm not exactly sure what the VMC stands for, but it's the new controller board. And again, again that's what's gonna make everything credit card compatible. Now, again, because the old machine, the display or the actual little window, which you know says the price and different things like that, is part of the actual board, this kit comes with a new display board as well. So we're going to have to remove the old board, put in the new display board, then put in the new VMC board, and then hook everything up wire-wise before we power everything back on. So there we go. There's lots of instructions. There's a parts list. There's a really detailed with pictures instruction list on how to install this uh, this kit. There's a piece of plexiglass for the display window. There's the actual display board. Let's take a look at that real quick. So we're gonna cut that tape open as well and we'll pull that new display board out and it's gonna look a little bit different than our old one. Our old one is in red letters. I think this one is in a different color, but there it is, nice new looking display board. And again, we're gonna use that piece of plexi over it to protect it from fingerprints or anything like that. And I think there's also like a little shroud in here too. We'll find that in just a minute. So we're gonna set that back in the box. Inside here, we've got our DEX ports. There's our DEX ports. So we'll be able to plug our DEX cable into that. And what else we got? There's our, our shroud. That's gonna go around or behind the plexi, but around the display. There is, looks like an MDB type adapter. Um, there's another, I think that's for the drop sensor, which we don't end up using that in this video. Some machines you will use it, some machines you won't. There's a lot of uh, hardware for mounting purposes. And really that's about it. Uh, everything is gonna be done through that new video controller board. So here we are at the location. Let's go ahead and get into the video. We're gonna install it in this machine. But before we do that, what I wanna do is take a quick count of the inventory in the machine. Because again, in the next video that we do featuring this machine, we're going to install a NIAX credit card reader. We are going to get all of our MDB codes. And then we're gonna go back to the studio and we are going to program the MDB codes into the NIAX website to make our product map. So it's gonna be really easy, really straightforward, but that's gonna be probably the next video from this location. So again, all we're doing right now is we're taking an inventory of what is left in the machine because I, when, when I do go back and make that next video, I need to set my PAR levels. And what PAR levels are is the amount of items you can have in each row. And then I wanna set my inventory levels per those PAR levels too, which means I wanna know exactly how much inventory I have in each row. 
Now again, I'm gonna have to go back to this location and do a final stock up now that I've installed everything. Um, so that's going to be uh, in the future. But right now we're only worried about getting our inventory numbers here. Uh, we're gonna collect the cash from the cash box and then we're gonna install the um, in one board to make it this again, to make this machine credit card reader compatible. All right, let's get our inventory and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, with our inventory done, let's first power the machine off. That's gonna be very important to make sure we power that machine off. Now what I'm gonna to have to do is remove that cover piece that goes over the old controller board. So I've got all kinds of tools with me. I've got my ratchet set, I've got some screwdrivers, I've got all kinds of stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and find first the right socket that fits those nuts in order to remove that cover piece. Then we'll remove the controller board, we'll unplug all the wires, we'll do all the good stuff, and then we'll start installing the new controller board. And again, this, this process was actually very easy. I was actually surprised with how easy it was to upgrade and make the change. Now the, the new video controller, the new VMC, well, we're just gonna call it the VMC. The new VMC, it was pricey guys. It did cost about $375. But with the way that we made our money back on our credit card reader on the other machine at this location, I think it's gonna be just a couple months before we break even on that cost. Now, of course, the NIAX credit card reader did have a cost too, so ultimately, we spent roughly $600 to get this machine up, upgraded and credit card compatible with a credit card reader on the machine. But again, that's only gonna take a couple months to pay for itself because this location never uses a lot of cash. They use so much so much um, funds with the credit cards that we're gonna do, like I said, a, a lot more snack sales and we're gonna make that money back real quick. All right, so we're moving that cover piece now. Um, once we've got that uh, correct ratchet on there, we're gonna remove that cover piece. There we go. Here it comes. There's our cover piece removed. And we'll set that aside for now. Uh, next, we're going to look for a nut that I lost. And I can't find it. But that's okay, because the kit that we are going to use comes with a bunch of extra hardware. So no worries. So now I'm going to unplug all the wiring. We're going to unplug the motors. We're going to unplug the display. We're going to unplug the power. We're going to unplug the connectors to the coin mech and the dollar bill acceptor. Get all those out of the way. And then it's time to remove that that uh, VMC. And to do that, we're going to need our needle nose pliers because it's got those squeeze tabs to pop off of those plastic, um, I don't know, inserts, or whatever you want to call them. The, the plastic pieces where you have to squeeze them and then you can pop it off. I'm sure they've got a name, but it, it escapes me right now. So I apologize for that. But again, all we're doing is removing this board and the display unit or the display for this machine is on the back side of that board. So that's why we need to do that, that whole new display in this kit. There's the last one. Let's go and see if we can pop that off now. And there is our old board. Take a look at that board. All right, we're gonna set that aside for now as well. And let's go ahead and get to work. So what we need to do first is install that new display. Uh, we're gonna need to take out some screws or some nuts or some bolts or whatever to remove this um, mounting piece because the actual um, display unit will go behind this piece. So it does, it does clearly state that in the, in the instructions, you need to remove this piece. Then we'll take out that red um, plexi that kind of went over the old display and we're gonna install our new display. And the new display gave me a little bit of trouble. Here's a hint, use some electrical tape to hold it in place while you mount everything. Because <laughs> I basically, I needed three hands and uh, I'm actually gonna cut away while I do that. But use some electrical tape or some sort of tape to hold it in place so it doesn't fall while you're trying to mount everything. That was the one thing I learned. And there's there you can see that it was that display on the back of the board. All right, here's our new display kit. Again, we're going to use that shroud and that piece of plexi, which are here in this bag. And the plexi does have a protective coating on it you'll need to remove before you install. And again, we're gonna use that shroud. And again, use some tape to hold it in place while you mount everything up, because before I was using tape, it kept falling. So obviously it wasn't working right. That's why I cut the camera did it the right way and then when we come back we'll have it mounted and we'll go to our next step so watch me struggle with this for just a minute then we'll come back to have it installed and move on all right we're back our display is installed everything is in place now what we need to do is reinstall the mounting board that black mounting piece 
Um, and then what's going to happen is the new VMC will attach to that. So we've got a couple things ready to go. I'm trying to get my display through that hole in the mounting, but uh, ultimately you don't need it like that. And that's, that's just not how it goes. So you're going to watch me struggle for just a minute because I think it's supposed to go through there like that, but it doesn't. It goes around the bottom. So don't make my mistake. I wasted a good minute or two on that, trying to make that work like that. That display or that, um, yeah, that display, or actually that's the keyboard, the, the button connection, that just comes down below that mounting kit. So there we go, we're gonna get this mount, this new board mounted up, and then once we get that mounted up, we'll start making our connections. So here we go, let's go and get the board mounted up and get this uh, mount connected as well. All right, it's time to mount up the VMC. So we're just gonna pop it on to the supports just like the same ones that the old one used. It's really cool that they make it ready to go. So it just uses the exact same supports that the old one used. So now we got it popped on there. It's time to start making our connections. So we're going to be making our DEX connection. We're gonna make our motor connection. We're gonna make our power connection. We'll make our keyboard connection. We'll make our display connection and we'll make our coin mech slash dollar bill acceptor connections. Now, again, when we come back, we're actually going to be installing a credit card reader on this machine. And I, I probably won't do a video of installing the credit card reader because we've got multiple videos already of us installing credit card readers. What we'll do is we'll come back, probably in the next video from this, from this machine, we'll come back with the credit card reader installed and we'll show you how to get the MDB codes and how to program your product map for any machine because it's going to be really easy to do. So we'll, 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 like I said, we'll be doing that in a future video. So if you, if you think you'd find value in a video like that, make sure you subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. Again, give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will really help us with the algorithm and help share our videos to other new viewers, which helps the channel grow. All right, so I'm just checking over my instructions. I'm seeing what adapters I need. I'm seeing what connections I need to make and which, which wire goes where because I want to make sure I get it right, obviously. Um, the really cool thing about this is, is it, um, it uses most of the existing connections without too many adapters. So this is really easy to hook up, hook back up. All right, I'm looking to see which wire goes where, and I want to make sure I get it right. And most of them are keyed also, so you can't put them on incorrectly, which is nice. So I can make my DEX connection, I'm making my power connections. Um, again, I'm going to do everything that the instruction manual says. There are, there is going to be at least one adapter I'm going to need to use, and that's not it right there. Um, so I'm just, like I said, I'm making sure I'm getting everything right because I don't want to hook up anything wrong. And um, the instructions are really good about what goes where, so that is very beneficial. And I am just making sure I get everything seated properly. It, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to take a little bit of extra time on these steps to make sure your wires get connected correctly and you're not bending any pins or messing anything up like that. Um, so I did take a little bit of extra time hooking the wires up to make sure that everything was done right. And then once we get the wires hooked up, we're gonna do all the programming. Now the programming can be long and boring. So when we get to that point, I'm just gonna speed through it. Um, and uh, basically all we need to do, um, the very first thing you need to do is configure the motors. And this, this is all explained in the, in the instruction manual. So to configure the motors, you hit the, the, the program button or that button inside, you go to the configure menu and you go to motors and it'll configure all the motors for you. Then we go through and we set all of our prices for each item. And again, you don't need to see me do that 50 million times. We're, we're just gonna go, we're gonna speed through that whole programming process. After we get the, the motors configured, the price is set, we'll set the time, and then that will be the end of the video. So it's actually really, really easy, like I said, to do everything. It's just a little bit of time consuming, that's all. All right, getting the last couple of things hooked up, looks like we just hooked up our motors, and I, I really think, like, I feel like I'm supposed to use this adapter, but what this adapter I'm, I'm holding in my hand there for is for a drop sensor, which we do not have on this machine. 
So now I'm just making sure all my wires are connected right. So let's go ahead and power the machine on. And we should see something on the display. There we go. Powering up and it says insert money and it's got the incorrect time. So we're going to fix that. So let's get into the programming. So all we're going to do, like I said, the very first thing as I'm learning this programming menu, I kept getting confused with the back and the execute buttons because it uses star and, and pound those next to the F there, the star and the pound buttons. All right, and one, again, once I figure everything out, I'm going to fly through it. So let's go ahead and speed up the video, and then we'll uh, we'll get towards the end when it's all complete. All right, here we are. Everything is complete. I'm making sure my wires are looking good. Uh, I will come back and use zip ties to get everything secured um, because it's a little bit of a wiring mess right now. And we'll take care of that off, off camera. Um, but again, I just want to make sure all my connections are good. I want to make sure everything is good to go. And this machine at this point is now credit card compatible. So in our next video from this spot, we will install a NIAX credit card reader and we will um, get all of our MDB codes, do our programming, all the good stuff. So stick around, guys. Next video is coming up soon. Hey guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you took something away from it and saw just how easy it is to take a non-credit card compatible machine and make it credit card compatible. So again, it's just a simple board swap. Maybe there's a couple other wires you need to change or swap or use adapters for or a display kit or a keypad or something like that. But again, it's super easy. You know, there is a little bit of a cost involved, which, you know, that, that's going to be any time you do something like this. But it's super easy and you can really make any machine um, like that credit card compatible so again hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to subscribe to galaxy games 843 smash that like button to give us a thumbs up help us out with the youtube algorithm and again i hope you guys enjoyed the show with that said guys it's time to wrap this video up so once again this is matt with galaxy games 843 we'll see you next time